Okay, to open the software, simply click on your desktop item. To begin with, let's take a brief look at the layout function. By clicking on the layout bu button, I open the layout window. Let's go ahead and open an existing layout to give you an idea what uh, this function allows you to do. So uh, I've selected the open button. There's an existing layout or B9L file called Eiffel Tower. I'll go ahead and open that. It'll import the uh, data from the STL file and give us a graphical representation of the object that we are uh, wanting to lay out and prepare for printing. Now we can add other STL files, we can create supports, and we can do a number of operations that we're not going to go into. But the layout function is basically how we set up the models and prep them to be sliced before we print them. I'll go ahead and close this window. And the next button we see is the slice button. Now the slice button also requires you to select the layout that you've already pre-prepared, such as the Eiffel Tower that we were just looking at. And you can go ahead and open that. Once again, it will import the models needed to slice the layout. Uh, the slice dialog itself is fairly simple. Uh, you can give your job a name, put in a, type in a brief description. such as that. Uh, the most important uh, input for the slicer is how thick that you, do you wish to slice this model for printing. Uh, by clicking on the drop down box for slice thickness, you can select uh, any number of microns in thickness. This is important when you're considering which material you're using. Some materials are pigmented to be able to slice thin, some uh, thicker. Once you've selected your, uh, your layout file and your desired slice thickness, you'd hit the slice button. It'd ask you where to save the job file, which is the file that actually contains the information for printing. You can type in a name and a selected directory, then hit save, and it'll, it'll slice your file. Uh, the final portion of printing is the print button. Right now, uh, the print button says preview because we do not yet have the B9 Creator hooked up. Well, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the preview. This, is, this dialog will be pretty much exactly the same as if you were printing. I'm going to go ahead and go to a directory where I know there's a, a job file. For example, here's, here's the Eiffel Tower that we've uh, laid out earlier and sliced at 70 microns. I'll go ahead and open that job file. <coughs> uh, we have an analysis window. It notes that we're in preview mode since we're not connected to a printer. There's an advanced settings tab which allows you to change the default exposure times and cycle settings if you choose. Normally you would not have to do that. There's also a, a job preview uh, window which is the most interesting. Here you can uh, page through the actual sliced images. And we'll go ahead and do that here. You see the Eiffel Tower and doesn't really look much like an Eiffel Tower in two dimensions, but we're actually going up through the legs. And you'll notice there that every once in a while, some of these pixels turn red. And that's an indication where the pixels aren't supported and may need more support. So that's, that's the, uh, an overview of the print preprint dialog. Uh, the other thing to note here is you can select which material you wish to use and you get an indication of how long the print is going to take. If the printer was actually configured correctly and, and connected, we could go ahead and click the print button and begin the print process. Those are the major, function, or the major functions of the software. Uh, a couple other things I'd like to point out. You, under Help, you can uh, click on What's This? and your cursor will become a uh, a cursor with a question mark. Then you can click on the item that you have a question on and you'll get a little more information about that item. So if, you're, if you have a question in the software, that, that help functionality can sometimes answer your question right there. Uh, there's also a check for updates. And if we are connected to a network, you could see if there were any updates to the software. The About B9 Creator splash screen will tell you what version you're running. That's, a, that's good information to know. Uh, right now we're running version 1.8.0, which uh, we hope to be releasing soon. 
Under settings, uh, there's a couple important things. The materials catalog uh, talks about the different materials that uh, you can print with. And then printer management is how you actually configure the software to let it know what type of printer you have connected, which version, uh, and also what resolution you've calibrated it to. Under file, you still see you see this familiar slice or layout slice and uh, preview, which would be print if we were connected. So that pretty much concludes the overview of the software. Um, we'll move next into an overview of the hardware.